Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking into a massive development that's starting to ripple across global military and political circles, Iran's move to adopt China's Bay Du satellite navigation system. While at first glance it might appear like a simple switch in technology partners, this step could reshape the geopolitical landscape in ways many aren't expecting. Iran is no stranger to sanctions and isolation, and by shifting from the American-made GPS system to China's Beidou, the country is signaling far more than just a preference in satellite, tech it's a bold declaration of strategic independence and technological realignment. From the outside, this transition marks a clear pivot in alliances. Beidou, China's global navigation satellite system, has steadily grown into a powerful alternative to the American GPS, Russia's GLONASS, and the European Galileo systems. Unlike GPS, which is owned and operated by the United States military, Beidou is managed by China and offers civilian and military services independently of Western oversight. For Iran, the shift holds deep strategic meaning. For decades, Iranian defense and infrastructure systems had some degree of vulnerability due to dependence on Western technologies, which could be restricted, manipulated, or shut down in times of conflict. By choosing Beidou, Iran is not just reducing risk, it's asserting control over its own military communications and infrastructure. Inside Iran's borders, this change is already underway. Beidou technology is being integrated into key defense systems such as drones, ballistic missiles, naval vessels, and mobile command units. The system provides accurate, real-time data on positioning, timing, and navigation, which are critical for precision targeting and unmanned operations. Civilian sectors are also seeing the shift. From transportation and agriculture to telecommunications and public safety, Beidou's infrastructure is offering new levels of operational efficiency. Though still in its early stages domestically, Iran's integration of Beidou is progressing at a surprisingly rapid pace, signaling just how urgent and vital this move is for Tehran. When it comes to performance, Beidou is far more than a second, great GPS clone. It's a fully functional and highly advanced satellite network capable of global coverage, with 35 satellites already in orbit. What sets it apart is its dual, mode communication, which not only provides pinpoint accuracy, but also allows encrypted short messaging a feature the U.S. GPS system does not offer. This functionality is crucial for nations like Iran that need secure battlefield coordination even when traditional communication channels are compromised. In military operations where seconds count and stealth is key, having a reliable and independent satellite navigation system changes everything. Iran can now conduct missions without fear of signal denial or tracking from you. S. Satellites, security is one of the biggest advantages Iran gains from using Beidou, GPS signals can be jammed or spoofed, a fact not lost on Iranian military planners. In fact, many nations have raised concerns over the risk of cyber warfare and electronic interference in GPS reliant systems. Beidou's anti jamming and anti spoofing features give Iran a serious edge. Whether in active conflict zones or in defending sensitive locations like nuclear facilities, this added layer of digital security helps Iran strengthen its defense posture. It's not just about knowing where your assets are, it's about making sure others can't interfere with that knowledge. The real significance of this shift lies in what it symbolizes. Iran adopting Beidou is more than just a technical decision, it's a political statement. It demonstrates Tehran's commitment to forming a stronger alliance with China, while simultaneously pushing back against decades of Western technological dominance. This decision aligns closely with China's broader Digital Silk Road initiative, which aims to expand Chinese technology infrastructure across Eurasia and the Middle East. By becoming a part of this framework, 
Iran secures itself as a critical node in a new, multipolar digital order, one less dependent on Washington and its allies. It also opens doors to further cooperation in areas like cybersecurity, AI, drone tech, and satellite communication systems, with Chinese backing. In terms of cost, the financial figures around Iran's access to Bay do are not publicly disclosed. But analysts believe the price tag isn't primarily monetary. This is about long-term strategic alignment. China is offering countries like Iran access to its satellite capabilities not simply for profit, but to build political influence and loyalty. Iran, in return, gains access to cutting edge technology and a powerful partner in global forums, one that's less likely to impose sanctions or conditions based on Western values or pressures. To sum it all up, Iran's move to adopt China's Bay Du satellite navigation system is far from a routine tech update. It's a fundamental shift in how Iran positions itself on the global stage technologically, militarily, and politically. With Beidou's precision, security, and independence, Iran is arming itself not just with better tools, but with the ability to operate outside the reach of traditional Western systems. This could impact everything from missile guidance and drone warfare to shipping logistics and urban infrastructure. More importantly, it sets the tone for a larger trend we may see in the coming years, a growing number of nations seeking alternatives to you, S, controlled systems, and looking eastward for their next-generation tech partners. Iran's choice might be the start of a much bigger global pivot.